Radiohead, no surprises. We're going to learn an amalgamation. We're going to take all of the most important guitar parts, smoosh them together into one cohesive part in standard tuning with a capo on the third fret. It's true! On the studio recording, that main super high guitar part has a capo up on the 15th fret, but we're going to do a little... We're, we're going to basically play what Tom York plays when they do the song live. Capo on the third fret standard tuning. I already said that. You're gonna need a D chord over here. Middle finger, second fret on the bottom string. Ring finger, third fret on the second to bottom string. Pointer finger, second fret on the third string from the bottom. Would you please grab your plectrum, play the bottom string. Then you're gonna play the third string from the bottom. Then the second string from the bottom and then back to the third string from the bottom. So that was like this, take a close look. Boom, bang, bing, bong. Bottom, third, second, third. Let's talk about pick direction for a brief moment, shall we? First note, pluck up. Second note, pluck down. Third note, pluck up. The next one, pluck down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Would you please play this four note pattern with me? Three times in a row. Three times, gang. One, two, nice and slow. And one, two, three. Great job. Guys, that was great. After we play that, three times, that's three, where I'm having a very hard time holding up fingers today. Have you noticed? After we do that three times, we have to play this. Here's how you do that. You have your D chord all ready to go. Get your pointer finger and your middle finger out of there, but keep your ring finger there on the third fret of the second to bottom string. Play the third string from the bottom open. Then with your middle finger, play the third fret on the third string from the bottom. Then go down to the second from the bottom, play that one. It's got your ring finger on it. And then play the bottom string open. I recommend plucking up on that bottom string. So that was. If that last note sounded like that, it means your ring finger is just leaning down onto that high E string and you just wanna get on the tippiest tip of your finger. Make sure you're centered right over the string. Just make sure that finger is not touching the bottom string at all. So this is what I'm going to call the arpeggio pattern. The arpeggio riff section of the song. What's an arpeggio? That's right. It's just a chord, but played one note at a time, which is what we're doing. We have the D chord and we're playing it one note at a time. Then we end up going to a G minor six chord, but you don't need to remember that for now. You can if you want. This is a G minor six. Now you know. Um, we're gonna do the D thing three times, then that little G minor six arpeggio one time, and we do that whole entire thing twice. Let's play it together those times in a row, Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Nice and slow, here we go. One, two, three, four, and D. D again. Aw, third time. Here we go. Oh, back to the D. Uh. One more. That's how they start off the song, with that arpeggio pattern two times in a row. At which point we need to transfer into our strumming pattern riff. It goes like this. Very fun to play. This is kind of the, this is what I would say is the driving force for much of the song. We need our D chord. We've still got our D chord going on. I recommend getting your thumb up over the top to mute the top string. I more than recommend it. You basically need to. At this point, we need to learn this strumming rhythm. We want to go. Sounds like jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, Batman laid in. I don't know the words to the parody. D chord, you're gonna strum down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Let's break it down a little more. Just go like this. Go down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Hey! Down, up, down, 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 
up, down, down. Oh, now we just have to add a little down up at the end of that. We're gonna go down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Oh, the Joker got away. At this point in time, we need to add the little middle finger thing he does. And no, I don't mean he flips you off. That's not what I meant by middle finger thing. I meant he just pulls the middle finger off of that bottom string after the very first strum. Watch this. Sounds less like jingle bells now. So we're gonna go down and then right when you come up, just pull your middle finger off so the bottom string is open. Down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, down. Oh, we got it. Let's do this together th three times. One, two, one, two, here we go. Great job. Now we go to this thing. This is fun. This is very fun, but it's also it's a little bit tricky if you're not used to it. We need to go to a type of G chord. Now a full on G chord would be like this with four fingers. We're gonna play like a, it's, it's called a G five chord. Here's what it is. Middle finger plays the third fret on the top string, but your middle finger also needs to lean down and mute the second string from the top. Okay, great. Then the next string should just be open. The one after that should be open. But then your ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the second to bottom string, and your pinky on the third fret of the very bottom string. So now if you play it note by note, it should sound like this. Fantastic, your pointer finger is just hanging out, ready to do some extra stuff. You're gonna strum down on the top few strings, then up on the bottom few strings, then down on the top again. Then, this is where it gets a little tricky. You have to get your pinky out of there, but your pointer finger has to come all the way down to the second fret on the bottom string, and you strum up on the bottom few strings. That's a nice, that's an interesting sound. You hear that? Then we go down on the top string again, or top few strings. Then you get rid of your pointer finger and strum up on the bottom few strings. So that was, oops, sorry, my pointer, my pointer finger misbehaved. One, two, watch this. Let's do this together four times in a row. This takes some practice. Get your hand all ready to go. One, two, boom, gum, boo, and. Again! Again! Last time! Quick tip! When you're going from your D chord thing into that G5 chord, your ring finger does not need to move. In fact, it shouldn't move. That's your anchor keeping you in place between those two chords. Let's play this whole entire section all the way through. We do the D chord thing three times, then our G thing. Uh, just one time. One, two, three, four. Get ready. did it. It doesn't need to be like exact. We just want to get pretty much that. So that right there, I'm going to call the strumming riff. So now we have our, our arpeggio pattern and our strumming riff. This makes up the intro to the, they, 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 they do the arpeggio twice and they do the strumming riff twice as well. I said twice weird. I said twice. Play the whole intro all the way through. One, two, three. Four. Oh, I'm so bored. We already played this so much. We have to do this again. Here we go. At 
this point in time, we go into the actual verse of the song. The singing begins. We start off by doing our little D strumming thing uh, twice. We go. No, four times. Wait, how many times? They go. Was that? How many was that? I lost count already. I think that was four. We're going to call it four times. Then. They go to a G over B. It's actually a G major seven over B. This song has all kinds of crazy chords. So we've got our D. After we do our little strumming thing on there, we're gonna go like this. You're gonna bring your, uh, oh, oh, you, oh, 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 it's easy. All you have to do is take your pointer finger and just move it up one, two strings. So it's on the second string from the top on the second fret. Now, one little thing that's kind of a pain is we would like the top string to be muted. You can use your thumb to mute it. You can also use the tip of your pointer finger to mute it, but we want it to sound like this. Wasn't that a beautiful chord? Have you ever heard a better G major seven over B chord in your life? So you only have to move your pointer finger. On this chord, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna go like down, 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 down. Up. That's kind of our strumming for most of the verse in the chorus is down, 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 down. We're gonna do that strumming pattern four times on this chord, but on the fourth time, you're gonna get rid of your middle finger and just have the bottom string open. So it ends up being one, two, three, four. Fantastic! Then you're gonna go to an E minor chord. So this is top string open, middle finger second fret on the second string from the top, ring finger second fret on the third string from the top the rest of the strings are all open we're gonna go uh but here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do the first time through the strumming pattern just regular then take your pinky play the third fret on the second to bottom string this changes it into an e minor seven chord uh we're just gonna do the strumming pattern like that I think I've lost all track of everything. We're good, I'm doing good. You do one time regular, then one time with the pinky on the third fret of the second to bottom, E minor seven, then we're gonna go to an A chord. A is top string is, you're not even gonna use it, mute it with your thumb. Second from the top is open, then middle finger, third fret, say, ah, uh, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, pinky second fret second string from the bottom you're gonna go down 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 up our regular thing but then you're gonna go like this you're gonna scoot your pinky into the third fret of the second to bottom string this changes it into an a sus chord you're gonna strum that once then you're gonna bring your pinky back and strum that one so it sounded like this it went just like that um, at this point in time, we're gonna go right back to our little uh, intro strumming riff pattern where we go. Like that. You got it. That made perfect sense. I'm just gonna move this water bottle six inches over on the ground. We just learned the entire verse pattern. Well, that's not entirely true. I told you all of the stuff in the verse pattern progression. Let's, let's play it once. You, I know you don't remember it, but just follow my lead. It's going to be great. We're going to do it slow. Starts with a D. One, two, here we go. And... Uh, four times. Then the G over B. That's where you move your pointer finger. Then get rid of your middle finger. Then E minor. Then pinky, then A, then pinky back to A, then remember this? Three times. I present to you that after that, that's, that's verse one. Verse two, they just do the exact same thing again. So they lit, they literally take everything that we just played they play it again. Then they go into verse three. But here's the crazy thing about, about verse three is it's only, it's just like the first half of the verse. It goes like this. Look, I'm not even gonna explain it. I'm just gonna show you. It goes D thing, D thing again, 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 one more time, then the G over B. 
get rid of the middle, and that's it. So they just leave off the E minor, and they leave off the A, and they leave off the little D strumming thing. At this point, we jump into the chorus. You know it's the chorus because this is where he sings No Surprises. I believe he sings No Alarms, No Surprises. It, he also might say No, it sounds like No, it sounds like he says No Hellos, No Surprises. I am not 100% sure what he says, but he says No Surprises in there at some point in time. He goes, No Hey! Here's what this is. It's it's just E minor and A, pretty much like we already did in the verse. Here's, so here's the chorus. I present to you the chorus to No Surprises by Radiohead. It goes E minor, then the pinky. Remember the E minor seven with the pinky? Remember it? So we go No up and A. Then look back to regular. So it's a, it is the chorus is the same as the last little part of the verse. Let me play the whole chorus for you. One, two, buckle my shoe. No, uh, 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 uh. Again, E minor. I forgot to do the pinky, sorry, forgive me. Pinky, back to E minor, third time, pinky. Then A, pinky, then watch this. So the chorus is they just go E minor, A, E minor, A, E minor, A, then our arpeggio from the beginning. I think this is making perfect sense and we're all having such a good time. Time for the fourth verse. Fourth verse is very similar to the first verse. It's just, it's quiet. It's quiet and it's short. Well, we're on our D chord. We're gonna do our little D strumming thing, but do it as quietly as you can. Do you guys know how to play quietly? It's a weird question. Uh, the biggest trick with playing quietly is hold the pick very lightly. When you hold the pick firmly, even if you try not to play very hard, it's very harsh. If you hold the pick very, very, very lightly, where you're almost gonna drop it, that's how you play quiet. It's not about how hard you swing your arm, it's about how tightly you hold the pick. We're gonna go D. 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 Three times. Then on the fourth time, you're gonna go like this. Your pinky is gonna reach all the way up to the fourth fret on the second to top string. So watch this. One, two, three. Is that right? I feel like I did something wrong. No, I did it totally right. I'm a genius. We go D, 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 then the pinky. Then we go to our G over B chord, just like we did before. That's the fourth verse. It's just D, 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 pinky on the fourth fret of the top string. If it's a stupid stretch, you're gonna be able to do it. You're gonna be great at it in no time. And then you go to the G over B, this guy right here. We've done it a thousand times already today. Then we get to the chorus. The chorus is going to be almost exactly the same as the first time we played the chorus. We go, no, uh, bum. Bang on E to A, the pinky E minor, pinky A, pinky back to A, one more E minor, pinky A, pinky then A then, we go to D. What I like to do for this part is I build it up. I call this the, the D build up. We're just gonna play D for basically, basically 32 strums of D and we're just building, building it up. We're building it up, which I'm just strumming down, 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 down and louder. And then we get to the bridge. 
the bridge goes like this. Let's see if I remember the bridge. I think it goes. I've got it. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this bridge. easy it's easy easy peasy lemon squeezy we've got our a chord starts with a a we already did top string we're not going to use second string with the top open middle finger second fret on the next string ring finger second fret on the next string pinky second fret on the next string we're going to strum down 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 up down 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 up that same strumming we've been doing you're going to do it twice on this a chord Then we go to a G minor six chord. It's great. Here's how you do it. You take your A chord, you slide it over one fret like that. So we were on the second fret. Now we're sliding on up to the third fret. Your middle finger bounces all the way up to the third fret on the top string. Mute the second string from the top with your middle finger. Make sure the bottom string is open. So make sure your pinky's not getting in the way of that bottom string. It's a kind of a weird sounding chord. You might play it first and go, is that right? Did I mess this up? You're doing great. It's perfect. I guarantee it. I can hear it right now. It sounds, well, okay. Maybe work on it a little bit. We're going A, two, three, four, then G minor, six, three, four, back to A. Oh, oh, back to the G minor, six. Then we go to an E minor seven chord. So you can, okay, I don't, you can, which fingers do I use for this? I don't know, who cares? Look, you play an E minor and I use my pinky, play that third fret on the bottom, I go. And then you go right back to the G minor six again, but notice this, when you go from your E minor seven into the G minor six, you don't get to just slide everything over like you did with the A, but what you can do is keep your pinky in the same spot and just move your other two fingers. So see, pinky stands put on that third fret, middle finger goes up to the third fret on the top, ring finger goes to the third fret right above the pinky. And that's the bridge. We're gonna play the whole bridge in a second. One more little tip. One more little tip about that whole E minor 7 thing. If you ever go, oh no, I'm playing a regular E, I forgot to go to the E minor 7, that's okay. You can add in that pinky note anytime you want. Honestly, it kind of sounds better if you go like... If you add it halfway through... Oh, it's nice. It's gonna sound like you did it on purpose. You're gonna impress all your friends. Oh, my name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe. I'm using a Kaiser Capo. I have an Amazon affiliate link. You can support the channel and your own guitar playing procedures by using my link for the Capo. Hello. I always stall out after I do that. After I do my little self-promotion thing, I just go like, what was I talking about? Let's play the bridge all the way through. One, two, the bridge. Here we go. And uh, oh. Here comes the E minor. Then back to G minor six. And then we go back to a verse. We go back to the verse. It's one of our short verses. We just go D, our little D riff. Then the G over B. Oh, I didn't do it long enough. I don't know the song. I've never heard this song before in my entire life. Let's play, let's play the, let's play this verse. It's the fifth verse. One, two, here we go. And string, bong, string, bong, gabing, oh! And we get to our final chorus, exactly the same as the other choruses. Back to our arpeggio. We're gonna play the arpeggio twice. 